What's up guys, Laura Whitmore here on our strategic test prep. And today is a different type of video than I've done before because it's summertime. And you know what that means, you guys, if you are a rising senior, or even if you're, you know, a sophomore or a junior and looking ahead, summer is that time where you can visit colleges and figure out where you want to go and write your college essays and do your college applications. So I have helped, I don't know if you guys know this or not, many, many students with their college essays. And I actually have an awesome guest on my channel today. Her name is Maya Yates. She was one of my former students, and she's actually a college essay coach now with Strategic Test Prep. So in this video, we're going to give you some juicy tips and insights into how to write a solid college essay. And Maya has a lot of experience because she got into some very elite schools. Now, before we get into the video, obviously, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you are in high school and looking ahead to college, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell now because every single video I come out with has some value for you and it's going to help you get one step closer to getting into the college of your dreams. All right. So Maya, would you mind introducing yourself to everybody and just letting them know a little bit about you and where you're from? Hi, I'm Maya. I am an incoming freshman at UCLA. I am hoping to study microbiology, immunology, and molecular genetics. I am on a pre-med route as I hope to become a physician. All right, so Maya, as a valedictorian of your high school and someone who is now going to the number one public school in the nation, UCLA, you have so much experience and did so much research and talked to so many professionals to find out what makes a college essay stand out from the pack? You're helping your friends with their essays. You're now a essay coach with strategic test prep. So I'm sure everybody that's watching today is wondering, what should they write about on their college essays? What I think is the best way to go is by sharing information about yourself that is nowhere to be seen on your application. It is important to share a side to you that admissions officers don't already know. This is great for a prompt like, Tell us about something that is important to you. So just be very creative with that one. I think that that is excellent advice. And I've heard the same thing from friends in the industry who are college planners. I also, when I helped students on their essays, would totally emphasize the fact that you need to let your personality shine. You need to let those intangibles that you can't list on your application show. So give the uh, applicant readers a window into your soul, into your character, into who you are as a person. I think that's really awesome that you touched on that. Now, just curious, Maya, how did you specifically approach the essay prompts. Basically, the summer before my senior year, I wrote out five to 10 supplemental essays that I felt captured me quite well. Whether it was extracurriculars, personal experiences, or challenges, I had probably two to three for each category. Having a bank like this made the college application process so much smoother for me, and I was able to easily insert essays and make slight changes during the school year. So if you are an incoming senior, I really recommend starting your essays now because it is summer. Most schools have a why us question, and this one does require research and can't be taken from your essay banks that talk about you, um, since all schools have unique programs and such. So take this time to research the school and specific programs that you want to be a part of, because this is your chance to show them that you are a unique individual and an asset to their school. You know, thank you for saying that because, and I want to point this out to everybody that's watching right now, like Maya brings up such good points where the essays actually start long before writing the essays, if that makes any sense. She basically mapped out her high school career, getting involved in certain extracurriculars and certain activities that demonstrate to the admissions officers a passion. So Maya wants to get into pre-med. She, you know, wrote a book for kids who had cancer and she's doing all these different things in order to really show them how committed she is to her future plans and to her future major. And so that made everything a lot easier for Maya. You know, she had plenty of material to write about. She had plenty of things to brag about on her essays. So if you are, you know, a freshman, sophomore, or junior watching this video, 
start early, guys. Start getting involved. Start thinking about what drives you, what you're passionate about, and you know, start to build that resume around those things so that schools can see how dedicated you are and that you have a hook so that they'll want you in their program. So that being said, Maya, like you were super prepared. You had organized your essays. You had, you know, formulated different topics you wanted to write about, which is really awesome. And you got into some really amazing schools. I mean, no one in your school got into Berkeley except for you. You got into UCLA. You got into USC. Can you share with the viewers right now? I'm sure they're wondering, you know, what was something specifically you wrote about? Like, can you share a topic with them for one of your essays so they can get a sense of what a really good essay entails? Yeah. So something I did was write an essay about baking a cake. I used each ingredient of a cake, like eggs, oil, flour, just all of them. And I talked about different aspects of their school and why I wanted to go there try and have deeper themes like how I did with the cake. It seems like a fun baking story, but in reality, I was using each ingredient to talk about the school. Wow, that is so creative. I really love that. I think that that is a great idea. And for those of you watching that don't know in the essay world, we call that it's a montage because Maya basically took a collection of different things, in this case, ingredients, and showed how they tied in together and showed a deeper meaning of them. And I saw a really awesome essay recently. Another student wrote about the stickers on the back of her laptop, where she got them from. She got a sticker every time she traveled somewhere and what it meant to her. So like one sticker was from her brother, and she talked about her relationship with her brother. So that's another example of a montage. Okay, so Maya, now that you've given everybody a really solid example of what a great essay entails, can you speak to the viewers about what they should probably avoid writing about or what's not going to be a good essay? Yeah, so writing about things that are overused is just not ideal. So for example, a sports injury or even struggles with mental health. And although these are super challenging experiences, college admissions have seen these essays time and time again. Um, but if you do want to talk about one of these things or any other personal struggle, make sure that it isn't the sole purpose of the essay. Yeah, and I can agree with that. You know, I've definitely heard from some of my friends in the college planning industry that uh, these topics are definitely overrated and overused. And you guys want to stand out from the crowd. So if you're also writing about some of the things that Maya just mentioned, you're a dime a dozen. And honestly, when the, the readers read hundreds of applicants each week, they're going to get bored. So you really want to, you know, find that thing that sets you apart. And it could be just something super unique or different. Like uh, a student wrote about orange juice, drinking orange juice with their family in the morning, but there was deeper meanings behind the orange juice and how it made them connected and how she was going to miss that when she went to college. Nobody else is writing about orange juice, you guys. So you really do have to think outside the box. The experiences of your parents or family is also something I would try and avoid. So when I was going through the process of writing essays, I wanted to talk about how my mom immigrated here from India. So however, although it is a good story and has the opportunity to demonstrate a well-structured essay, it has nothing to do with me. Um, so it's important to avoid topics that don't tell officers anything about you. Um, some other quick ones are to not speak poorly of the school you're applying to in your essay. Saying something like, although I don't like this CERN program, this one is great, is not a great look. Um, it's also risky to speak about controvers controversial topics as well as humorous topics. Okay, so as we now know, SAT and ACTs are test optional, but colleges, especially the competitive elite ones, are still definitely looking at submitted SAT and ACT scores. One of my insider connections, who is a reader at one of the elite schools, said that they are looking at SAT and ACT scores in round two. So if you make it from the round one pile into round two, then they're going to really start looking at scores and that can set you apart from other applicants. That being said, Maya, how important is the essay in this whole process? Like, give me a percentage. How much is it weighted? Most sources say that it is weighted 25% in your admissions process. This means that they are super important and can make or break your acceptance. Okay, I think that we've established the essay is super important on your application. So that being said, how can a student get started? You know, like, do you have a, a, any advice for like how they should structure the essay? Because it really is hard to figure out where to begin. Yeah, so having a good hook or opening line to draw on the reader is a great idea. 
Um, remember, they have hundreds of essays to read each week, so you kind of want to grab their attention and make a good first impression. It should be structured as a normal essay you write at school, breaking up information into paragraphs. Make sure that your grammar and spelling is as perfect as possible. Having multiple drafts of an essay is so important. I totally agree with what you said about that hook or the opening line. And it definitely goes back to what I was saying before, guys, where you want to make sure you stand out from the crowd. So give the reader something memorable and get them. First impressions are important. So get them right away. Really think out that open line. That is super important. All right. So even if, you know, they've got a structure now, what if they still don't know what to write about? I mean, writer's block is real. And I think that there's tons of people out there watching this video right now that have no idea what they're going to write about on their college essays. So do you have any advice for them? What can they do if they're completely blocked? Yes, so Strategic Test Prep offers resources such as professional college essay coaches helping to brainstorm and edit your essays. Um, personally, for me, I've gone through the process of applying to colleges and writing a bunch of essays. I've also published a book and have also written and performed a TEDx talk. So I have quite some experience with writing and literature. I understand how exactly to format an essay, how to research in depthly about college programs. And I do believe that it is important for students to think of large range of experiences that they've had, whether personal or school related. This way, we are able to tackle all different types of prompts together. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah, so everybody, just a heads up, you know, Maya is available as a college essay coach with us at STP. So, so if you want to work with Maya, someone who has experience getting into the toughest schools in the country to get into, then go ahead and click this link up here or, you know, down in the description, fill out a quick form and we will be in touch with you for a consult. And we would love to be able to help you get the best essay that can help you shine and that you can be proud of on your college application. All right, Maya, thank you so much for coming on the channel today. It was such a pleasure having you and I appreciate all the insight you were able to share with our viewers. Thank you so much, Laura, for having me on. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. Just a heads up, Maya is also an SAT tutor with Strategic Test Prep. So if you wanna work with Maya on SATs, she is available for that as well. Thanks guys for making it to the end. You guys are my ride or dies if you made it all the way to the end. So go ahead and comment below college essay. That way I'll know you made it to the end. And until next time, happy prepping.